Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So Google is providing you scholarship approximately of 2 lakh rupees. Yes, you heard it right. And actually they open uh, application for the scholarship every year. And there is no test, no interview. Then what is the selection process? I'll tell you everything. What is the eligibility criteria? How they select? And last year, uh, approximately 55 scholars have been selected for the scholarship. So you have a chance. But what is the selection process? What is the criteria? How to apply and all? Everything I'll tell you. Don't worry. But I'll tell you some important tips also. So you have to watch the video till the end. Because I cover in these type of videos actually everything. But you don't watch the video at the till the end and you ask the same question in the comment section. So first watch the video till the end. You will get answer of your every question, almost every question. Apart from that, if you have any other question, just let me know in comment section. I'll answer that. Okay. So see, the amount is 2500 US dollar and it's for Asia Pacific reason. The last date is 14th of August, but but don't wait till the deadline. See, or when 1250 eligible of, uh, application responses are received means they want only 1250 uh, applicants so i know that last year actually as soon as they opened the scholarship this application form within seven days they had to close it because they received so many applications so what you need to do is as soon as i mean after watching this video just have to submit your application apply for this but first watch the video till then i'll tell you how to apply what you need and all right before that, I just want to tell you something. If you are interested to learn DSA, if you want to be really good in data structure as well as in Java, so this is your last chance to enroll in my DSA with Java course because we are going to close the enrollments soon at the by the end of this month. Okay, what you get here, I guess, you know, I'll cover complete Java. Then we will cover DSA from basic to advanced. Not just query, you will be covering many lead code questions asked in top tech companies, placement questions, quizzes, assignments, and projects as well. Right? Plus, I know whenever you learn something, you get some doubt. So, I'll be conducting, I'll be having a, a like, you know, every week a live doubt resolution session. So, you can join that session and you can ask a doubt there. Plus, if you're not able to join that live session, it's okay. You can uh, have an access to a dedicated WhatsApp group also. So there also you can just send me your doubts, anything if you have. And in that group, you can just interact with your peer, other students. So it's like a community we have. You interact with those students who have taken this course already. Right. And uh, you can personally message me also there. I'll answer that, that uh, your question. So it's like I'm just like one message away from you. And after that, you will get a completion certificate as well. But the main thing is what right now one coupon code is you can apply gift 15 and you will get extra 15% discount. But many students say that, ma'am, we want only DSA part. We don't want Java part because uh, we know Java. So for those students also, there is a coupon code DSA45. So you apply that coupon code, you will get extra, like almost 45% discount on this and you will get access to, access to the DSA part only, not Java part. Right? So whatever um, coupon code you want, you can apply that. But do it like as soon as possible because uh, we are going to close the enrollment for this course by the end of this month right plus if you are genuinely interested to learn this and your financial uh, condition is not that much that you can afford this course still after applying the coupon code as well in that case you can just mail me at info at the rate jenny's lectures .com. we will review your case and we'll see what we can do for you right so the link and everything else the detail you will get in the description box of this video you go and check out now let's go to this uh, scholarship apply as soon as possible don't wait for the deadline right now very first thing is eligibility criteria so this scholarship is only for women yes you had it right so see this scholarship is for asia pacific reason as well as canada and us as well as for europe middle east africa and for women in ireland right so for india so we are in india so you have to click on this okay i'll tell you I'll give you the link also in the description box of this video. Don't worry. So see, uh, Generation Google Scholarship for Women in Computer Science, Asia Pacific, Apex. So you are, we are supposed to click here because we are in India. Now I'll tell you the scholarship. So only women can apply for women in computer science, right? And what is the eligibility criteria? You have to be currently enrolled as a full-time, full-time, second or third year 
student undergraduate student at a accredited university in asia pacific for 24 and 25 academic year so you must have be uh, be in either second year or third year okay in computer science computer engineering or related technical field right they haven't mentioned that only b b tech student can apply and demonstrate a strong academic record so now there is no test there is no interview so on what basis they are going to select on your cgpa yes in this scholarship cgpa matters a lot if you have 8 plus cgpa you have really high chances to get selected right if you have less it's okay you can apply for this because they will check your resume not only cgpa plus your resume also so if you are able to impress them with your resume then it's okay you can apply but your cgpa really matters here demonstrate you have really financial need means you are you belong from a poor family in that case they'll uh, those type of students will be given higher preference okay but children of google employees are not eligible to apply for this now what is the application process so you will be asked to complete an online application in which what you have to uh, uh, fill first your general background information right that's the basic information i guess you no need to worry about that your resume you have you should have pdf copy, copy of your resume two letters of recommendation means uh, it's like who can recommend you so you can in there in the form you can just uh, fill the name email address and what is your relationship with them that's it and uh, from google they will get they will get an email and on that email those means whatever like if you have a you have very good link with your professor with your stu, uh, faculties maybe um, with your project mentor or some other faculty or maybe you have done some internship so there also your faculties your mentors were there and you are having a good bonding and great bonding with them you can you can just uh, give the name and email of those person they will get the mail from google and they can send the recommendation letter on that mail right but please provide the name and email of those person only like they know you really well based on your uh, on your academic record and all they know you that yeah you are a good student and they can recommend you they can write like uh, something good about you so recommendation is also going to play a crucial role two letter of recommendation right academic transcript from your current institution uh, official you can go to your college and you can just ask them for a transcript or unofficial uh, is also acceptable so uh, if you don't have time to go to your college and ask for the transcript it's okay transcript is nothing but your uh, uh, in the previous year whatever you have done just marks of those years like mark sheet so you can just like maybe or for all the marks you take the photocopy and combine them in a pdf and just upload so unofficial is also uh, accepted right transcript second is you will be asked uh, one or two two i guess essay questions this is really important one is your cgpa yes and then you have to answer these essay questions so you will be given suppose some um, situation kind of thing situational question like you are in this situation you have to tell or maybe from your past experiences have you faced such kind of situation before you have to describe that moment or that situation or how you will handle that situation something like this or uh, there is a word limit maybe 500 right so in that you have to describe those uh, thing it's like essay type questions but these essay questions are really important don't go to chat gpt and uh, just copy paste no because their answer will be easily detectable you have to write your own think your own you can take help from google or chat gpt but you have to write your own i'll put a link also uh, one of the past uh, experience of this for this uh, scholar one of the scholar past last year uh, she was selected in this scholarship so i'll give you link of that blog also you can just read out right so before starting the application you have you should have pdf copy, copy of your resume plus your current or most recent transcript two things are really important right deadline is 14th of august but but apply as soon as possible because as soon as they get this much of application they they are going to close it right but see it's not that your recommendation letter can be accepted till 18th of august so just apply for the application submit from your end right 
the mail and email and um, you can say name and email of your recommender i mean whatever your professor or faculty recommendation can be submitted till 18th of august so they don't wait to submit for them the recommendation kind of thing no from your end fill the application they will get mail and they can uh, revert back on the mail for your they can recommend you on that mail only this is send the text in a text uh, you can say format right the recommendation letter right and if you have any more question you can just mail at this website or you can visit the uh, this faq page hopefully you will get answer of all your questions so what is really important for this your resume please your res resume should be polished structured very good that is the first impression because there is no test no interview second have you answer those essay questions this thing is important so these two things right so i hope this video will help you but this scholarship is only for women so you can send this uh, to a girl you know will be, be uh, benefited from this scholarship in your college group or facebook or whatever share this don't keep this to you share this as uh, much as possible right so now if you have any more question you can just ask me in comment section now i'll see you in the next video till then bye take care